Hey guys, and welcome back to Getting to Blinky 4.0. We've made the board, we've simulated it, and hopefully you've already ordered it. Now it's time to order parts so that you can hopefully kind of sync up when the board shows up and when the parts show up, and then we'll be able to assemble the whole thing together. So uh, it is currently April of 2016, so I'm going to be using a site called DigiKey, and so you'll see the current version of it. You can use whatever is local to you, and often local is the best. So if you're in a different country, I'm in the U.S., we're DigiKey's base, so that's why I often use them. I know there's Element 14 in Australia and Farnell in U.K., and, and there's just a whole range of them. Really, it's best to ask around, find out what is the, local, the, the closest one to you, because that's going to provide the lowest cost shipping for all these things. Now, the whole idea behind getting the Blinky was to make a super low-cost board in the first place. So like I said, you want to keep shipping costs down, with DigiKey, in the States at least, I'm able to use uh, our local postal service to actually deliver the parts, and that's why I like using it. So let's take a quick look at the site, and we'll uh, start ordering some parts. So it's a pretty busy site, and uh, you know it's almost a skill into itself to use this specific one, but like I said, it's not necessarily that this site is any better than another other one, it's just the one that I use. So what we're going to do is search for a 7555 to start, and what we need to do is make sure that we're going to buy the correct version. Now again, a uh, little bit confusing here. Uh, I usually use the top results, so I'm going to use, I'm going to buy the integrated circuit here, right? And that's actually going to be, so now we see all of the various parts that we can buy here, and I want to be able to buy one at a time. Now sometimes there's a filter there, sometimes you have to just look at minimum quantity, so in this case I want to buy one of these. And so I could either, you know, I could put it in one, but I actually know I'm just going to buy this one. So I'm going to just open this as a new tab, go to that one. And then from here, I'm going to add, uh, well, if I buy 10 of them, I can get a discount, uh, but it's not a very big discount. So I'm just going to actually buy five of them. So just five of these parts. Now, I, I did order three boards, right? So I'll have five parts, which means I'll have two spares. So if I do have, if something goes wrong and my soldering's not quite up to snuff, or if I actually blow up a part, no big deal. And I do recommend you buy one or two extras. All right, I'm gonna add that to my cart. Now I need to go and order some resistors, right? So I'm gonna say 1K resistor. And if you remember from that, the schematic that we were, we've been going off of and the thing we simulated, which I believe I still have up here, I do. Um, we have two 1K resistors. This actually used to be a 1K resistor, so this was 1K, and this one was 470K, and then a one microfarad. So what I'm gonna do is use 1K resistor so I can buy uh, you know, just one set of those and use them for two different things. So uh, I'm gonna buy 10 1K resistors. So chip, I wanna do a chip or surface mount resistor. And then I wanna uh, filter by size, right? So remember, if you remember, we did a 0805 size resistor. So I'm gonna go to package case. I'm gonna select 0805, which is 2012 metric. And then I'm gonna filter based on that. And then as long as I got the, uh, the value correct, and you see here, here's the description, 1K, 5% refers to the tolerance, 1 8 watt refers to the power, and then the size. These two, these are all low power things we'll be completely fine with. So I'm just gonna go with the first result here. Then I'm gonna do the same thing, except I'm gonna do it for 470K, right? So let's see if I can do that, actually including 0805 in the search term. So 208 of those. So let's see this first one here, 0805, 470K. Great, I'm gonna order those as well. And then finally, I'm gonna do one microfarad, 0805. And then I want ceramic capacitors. Oops. Open this dialog first. And then the first one here, this is not cur oh wait. This is 10,000 picofarads, which is actually 0 0.01 microfarads. So I want to say one microfarad, apply filters. Then the first one here, let's see, 0805, one microfarad. 16 volts refers to the uh, the voltage uh, rating of that capacitor, and there's separate videos about that kind of stuff on Contextual Electronics YouTube channel. Um, so one microfarad, so we wanna order these as well. And then what else do we need? So we have capacitors, we have the resistors. So we got one, two, three, four done. We also need, oops, whoa, what is going on here? I'm gonna zoom to full extents there. 
So we need an LED, right? Let's go back here. I'm going to search for LED 0805. Okay, discrete. We, discrete just means single instead of having multiple in a package. We just want one at a time. That's good. And let's see. So this is a green LED in an 0805 package. Uh, we need to buy more than <laughs> fewer than 4,000 of them. So, and I actually probably didn't pay very close attention on those other ones as well. So we might not be able to. Well, anyways, I'm going to open this as a new tab as well. There we go. Aha. Yeah, you see, I click the wrong one, so this is actually 5,000 at a time. I need to be able to order uh, fewer. So what I'm going to do is actually take the part number. Oh, actually, let's see. Ah, here is, here's the related one, so I'm just going to click on this one instead. You see that you have to order them, though, based on how many you're going to buy at a time. So I'm going to buy 10 of the 1K. This is the 1K resistor. I'm going to order 10 of these. That'll get me the price break. That'll be 18 cents. I'm going to order uh, can I order one of these? No, I, this is the wrong link as well. So there we go. I'm going to order 10 of the 470K resistors. And you might say, well, why are you going to buy that many? And it's just simply because the price break's good enough that it's worth it. You see, one, one resistor is 10 cents, 10 resistors is 16 cents. So it's just worth it to do that. OK, add to cart. Then I'm going to do, let's see. This is, again, the wrong reel size. This is a full reel. I want to be able to order one at a time. So I'm going to buy 10 of these as well. You see, the price break isn't quite as good, but it's still worthwhile to have. It's always good to have extra capacitors on hand. And then finally, LEDs. Uh, we can just order five of these, because that actually, the price break's not that good. So I'm going to add five LEDs. We've got five. Let's take a look at our cart. We've got five of the. Uh, 7555 timers. We've got 10 of these 1K resistors, 10 of these 470K resistors, 10 of these 1 microfarad capacitors, and 5 of these LEDs. You see the marking on there as well. And then, so what's the last piece? Well, we actually need to get the, uh, uh, shoot, what's it called? <laughs> the battery holder, right? So the CR2032 battery holder that we designed into our circuit. To do that, I'm going to actually open up, up KiCad again and go into our schematic, because we actually pulled a very specific part when we were doing this. I'm going to right click on this component, edit component, edit. And you see this, this right here is the footprint. We named it after the part that we were actually designing around. And that's important to go and find that same component. So let's go back here. I'm going to paste this in here, so S8211R search for that. It should hopefully have very few. Yes, good. And we see that we have, we can buy one of these at a time. I'm going to click on this one. And I'm going to order five. Ah, I'm going to order three of these. <laughs> this should be pretty simple. All right, so three of those. So we have three battery holders, a bunch of LEDs, some resistors, some capacitors, the component there. Let's just double check again against our circuit here, right? Resistors are good. Uh, capacitors looks pretty good to me. Let's double check in uh, KiCad as well. We don't have any other rogue components here. Just going to zoom in like this. Oops. Yep, this all looks good. Okay, so uh, I think we're good to go. So this is. $8 for three boards, right? So for at least three boards, you can maybe build more. So that's pretty good. I think shipping probably, you know, like I said, using USPS around here should be another $2 or so. Hopefully, uh, you know, that's actually not bad. This, remember, this is low quantity boards. So uh, it is, you know, you do have to pay a little bit extra to make a few of something. If you start making 100 of something or 1,000 of something, it actually drops pretty significantly in price. So I'm going to go uh, to order this stuff. I'm also going to create a cart. If you really don't feel comfortable, I'm going to paste this link in uh, the, this video's comment section. You can go and just get back to this. If I just copy this, go to a new tab, I should be able to just pull up this uh, same link. Now, like I said, this is happening. Um, oh, I have to hit Enter. Um, 
like I said, this is happening in April of 2016, so if you do this a little bit later, it's possible that this cart might not work, but hopefully you've seen enough stuff here that it should be okay. Uh, so that's all we have for this. Uh, you know, part buying can be a frustrating experience. Hopefully, you know, it's really helpful if you already have your shopping list ready to go, and then you kind of just make sure you're getting all the right things. Um, in general, like I said, try and shop uh, with a, a distributor that's local to you. Uh, you can always try and build stuff from parts you have on hand or that your friends might have or that your, your lab might have or anything like that. But sometimes you're just going to have to go out and buy the parts. And, uh, you know, there is a cost component to building electronics, the actual hardware there. But hopefully this is low enough cost that you feel comfortable going out and buying some of these parts and starting your part collection if this is your first board. So if you have any questions, you can ask them down in the YouTube comments. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to hear any questions you have about building or buying parts or anything like that. That's all for now. We'll be back once we get our parts in and once we get our boards in, and we'll be building, getting to Blinky. Thanks for watching.